In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five animated leaf options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, this is the part. And when I click, it will show you the first option, the stem with the leaf. You can add the option with the title and icon and the detailed text. And on my next click, it will show me the option two, then the option three, option four, and option five. If you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel and you can join uh, my WhatsApp group. The link is provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can go to more fill colors and you can give some dark brown color then go to rotate you can see here i can make it flip vertical and put it exactly in the center and if you want you can reduce the size or increase the size depending on your requirement and then I'm going to add one oval shape, go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape and then shape fill. Maybe you can give some light color or you can give some gradient color also. So I'm just going to use this color shape outline, make it no outline. And then I'm just going to put it here. So you can see here, it looks something like this. And if you are using the latest version of PowerPoint, then you can give some more effects also. Then here I'm just going to add one shadow effect for that go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill, go to sorry, right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill. Here I have used uh, two uh, stops, you can see the type I have used the radial, the description, it should be, uh, sorry, direction, it should be in the center. And here I'm going to just before doing anything, I'm just going to give some gray color here. You can see here some gray color, either you want this gray or dark gray, it's up to you, whichever gray you want. So then I'm just going to select this and then the stop two, I'm going to give the same background, what the background we have used here and then make the transparency to zero and then go to the effects under soft adjust, increase the size. You can see here something like this and put it exactly in the center go to format and send to back and let me just move a little bit up so it looks something like this you can see here and then i'm going to draw the leaves or the stem or whatever you call it for to draw the stem first of all i'm going to insert shapes if you see here the block arrows i'm going to use the arrow which is the arrow bent draw the arrow depending on your requirement you can see here i'm just going to start from here if you want to increase the size i'm going to reduce the width something like this and the arrowhead i'm going to remove completely you can just drag this here outside so it becomes completely it's gone and this also i can make it reduce the size and you can see here still something is visible but that also can be removed or what you can do is if you're using go to uh, the latest version of using go to shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle on this you can see here select this hold the shift key merge shape i can simply subtract it like that also i can do it then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill any good color of your choice you can add it here so something like this you can see here and then I'm going to draw the leaves. To draw the leaves, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to select the last one. You can see rectangle, diagonal corners, rounded. Again, depending on your requirement, how much size you need, you can put it and then go to rotate. You can see here, I'm just going to flip horizontal and increase the size. You can see here. Then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white so it looks something like this and then i want to add one more by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give the same color which i have used green and then i'm just going to reduce the size and put it here something like this again if you want a bigger one you can make it 
and then go to insert text box i'm just going to type option one then make it in the center center align make the white font again any font of your choice you can choose it make it bold reduce the size and put it in the center something like this you can see here and then uh, you can add some more shadow effect for this also i'm going to select this press ctrl d you can see here reduce the size then just add it something like this so like this also you can do it and the color you can choose the stop to and the eyedropper i'm going to add the color which is this one again make it fully transparent so you can see here this is my first option and later on we can add the text so now what i'm going to do i'm going to add more leaves so i'm going to select this press ctrl d you can see here then go to format change the color of your choice whichever color go to rotate and i'm going to flip horizontal and then just put it here exactly like this and send this to back you can see here then i'm going to select this press ctrl d add this here and then this one i'm going to rotate the other side you can see here something like this even the green color also i'm going to rotate the same way and then i'm just going to bring this one here this corner you can see here so this is my second option and this color also i'm going to change as per the stem color so and this is my option two now i'm going to select all this you can see here one by one i'm just selecting by holding the shift key press ctrl d to duplicate put it here you can see here and it's up to you whether you want to give a bigger shape of the leaves or smaller one so something like this it will come here and this color maybe i can choose a kind of a pink you can see here and this also i'll make this as a pink color then this could be my option three then i'm selecting this one along with this press ctrl d then i'm just adding it here exactly to make sure that it is properly aligned and then send this to back and again change the color as per your requirement maybe i can give some orange color this also becomes the orange and then this is option four and if you want you can add one more option here option five so the next step is to add the text and some icons if you're using the latest version then uh, you can just add any icons of your choice so i'm just going to randomly select four icons and just move this one here and height and width and i'm going to make it as four then just put the icons one by one on each option you can see here and then if you want you can change the color as per the color which you have chooses for the stem or you can just simply make it some gray color only then go to insert text box you can add your detail text here so this is the place we can just add the detailed text again let me just give some gray color reduce the font size you can see here press ctrl d ctrl d and this one i'm just going to make the right alignment ctrl d you can see here you can make this also a right alignment so let me just remove the guide so this is the design you can make it uh, with the leaves